Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. So today I'm going to go through my IGCSE 0606 Ad Maths predictions for May 2024. So paper one being on the 9th of May and paper two being on the 24th of May. And as always, I've gone through my last 17 papers. So making sure these uh, predictions are really up to date. So you're getting the very best information for your exams in about a month's time. Right, let's get started. So first of all, we have permutations and combinations, no change at 71%. So still a very often topic on paper one. And here's a nice sample question for you to have a go at at home. Then we have radian measure again. So far, not many changes on paper one. So we have 71% no change again in my often category. And you can see a very typical question here in front of you going through that particular topic. You'll notice paper two has changed quite a bit. So stay tuned for that part. On to logs here. This is also 76% no change. Notice, however, with logs, and this is an interesting question I picked out here, they can often combine it with other topics. So notice we have arithmetic progressions here with logs. So although logs itself may not appear that often, it's often combined with other topics. On to graph sketching, which is actually up at 88%. Again, this can take a variety of forms, usually towards the start of the paper. So some of the more easier questions. And one thing you should be really aware of is be able to actually draw a modulus function. And this is why I put this question here. You need to know how that process works. Trig identities, no change at 100%, always a big topic across paper one, paper two, and this is no exception. Again, here's a typical equation you'd have to solve on ADMATH, so knowing how to work with this part here and working out all the solutions within the domain that you are given. Quadratics, also no change at 106%. Often part of the do not use a calculator style question, where they're also testing you on your use of thirds as well. So be aware you can't rely on your calculator. You need to show that working, but you can check with the calculator. Differentiation, so it's up 135%. Always a very, very big topic, and usually the harder questions are getting those top grades of A and A star. Usually means you need to have good differentiation skills. And here's a very clear example question using the quotient rule, giving you those huge five marks. That's a skill you can sit down and just practice. On to integration, slightly down at 94%, but again, as always, a top topic. One thing to be aware of, they will test your knowledge of limits. So they may give you an equation like this with a missing limit you have to find or a direct integration question. Make sure you are ready for both. So a summary of the last 17 papers is here in front of you. So you can see how often these topics come up. Be aware vectors has sneaked up to 71%. So that's coming up a bit more often. I haven't mentioned it in this video, but something certainly to be aware of. Even things like sequences and series and coordinate geometry, again, appear 50% of the time. So you need to make sure that you are revising those topics as well. Now, paper two has changed quite a bit in what I've predicted so far. Factor theorem here is a good example of that. It's now slightly down at 53%. So generally it will come up on one paper, but less frequent than before. Again, often a do not use a calculator style question with the factor theorem. So please be aware of that. Logs is up on paper two at 88%. So you can see across the two papers, you need to know your logs. And notice they can often follow from another question. So this part C here, for example, this is followed on directly from a trig question, getting you to use your trig knowledge to work out this particular equation. Sequences and series, no change at 65%. You saw on paper one about 50%. So going to come up on one of the papers in some shape or form. Make sure you know your arithmetic geometric progressions, how to work out terms working backwards. Trig identities, this is up at 82%. Again, quite tricky, particularly like compared to A-level maths paper one, which is quite similar. They go into a bit more depth on the Add Maths course. You can see this kind of question is certainly not easy. If you need to revise this skill, I've done an hour of all things trigonometry on Add Maths. Check out that video above. 
Quadratics slightly down at 100%. But it can sneak into other questions. This is a great example of this. We have an inequality to work with, and essentially you need your quadratic skills to be able to solve the inequality. Differentiation, which is a mad 206%. So on average, on paper two, you'll get two questions that involve differentiation. So there's one topic you should revise and really prioritize is differentiation and integration. This is an easy style question you could be asked at the start of the paper. Uh, integration, however, uh, has 118%, so it's slightly down, but obviously still in the certain category. Again, can be an easier style question. This is the last part, actually, of a differentiation question, which is quite typical, using what you've done so far then to work out this particular exact value. So here are the paper two frequencies. You can see these two top topics are the most important. They do come up the most. But again, don't forget your CERDS knowledge that creeps into a lot of different questions. Again, vectors still at 53% here as well. Could have mentioned that as part of the prediction video, but just be aware you've still got things like the modulus function coming up almost 50% of the time. Binomial expansion we haven't talked about much in this video, but then comes up over the two papers, 80% of the time. So you do need to make sure you revise that. And if you're not sure where to start with your revision on IGCSE AdMaths, then the video in front of you is your perfect video. It's two hours of the 10 most important topics to make sure you've got a good coverage of the entire course and you're ready for those exams. Again, any more information you need about AdMaths, then please let me know down in the comments.